In a world where people are experiencing uncertainty and so many kinds of troubles and dangers, the only thing that gives us a chill of relief is that God is protecting His children. God has given us assurance that He is watching over us and protecting us all the time. But this doesn't mean God is commanding you to be careless about the upcoming troubles. Instead, He wants you to be prepared for them. If you are a true believer as you are, you must know that God has commanded each of His children to be sober and vigilant. He has told us that we are always under attack. But the only thing which is comforting is that we are being watched over by His army of angels. You may not realizing of how much protection you have been provided by God. But this does not negate the fact that God is still protecting you even when you are watching this video. It is not only God who is watching over you, but also the evil forces are there to steal your joy. They are keeping their eyes on you. But it is God who has been protecting you since the very moment. When you chose to walk with Him, when you chose to be on His side, when you transform your life from a sinful personality to a godly person. You are in a great trouble, but it is God whose protection is not letting you get affected from it. Remember that you are a child of God and no one can negate this fact. But you must be aware of this also that the Lord can save you if you don't need Him. God cannot work with anyone who is unyielding to bend. It doesn't matter how much God loves you or how much He cares about you. If you are ungrateful towards Him and taking credits in pride of all the good things that happen in your life, then God will definitely reject dwelling in you. Therefore, God is giving you a strong warning through this that do not ever live your life in pride with ungratefulness in your heart towards Him or else you will be destroyed in the upcoming troubles. Remember this, there is nothing out of his scope of vision. He can watch everywhere and in every period of time. He is ever present and ever knowing. So giving no praise to him who loves you with all your heart will only make you vulnerable and a victim. John chapter 16 verse 33 tells us, Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart, because I have overcome the world. Look, troubles will come in every single person's lives, but how many people survive in their trouble without being defeated is dependent on the factor that how much faith is one putting in God. If you will go through the scripture, you will find many peoples who went through many trials in their life, but none of them got perished. It became possible because they had a strong faith in the Lord in their every circumstances. Apostle Paul says, You are more than a conqueror because Jesus Christ won the victory already on your behalf. 
and all you need to do now is to accept it by faith. Even if the world doesn't value you, God values you and this is what only matters. The people who move mountains are the ones whose faith is in the Lord. Matthew chapter 21 verse 21 says, Truly I tell you, if you have faith and do not doubt, not only can you do what was done to the fig tree, but also you can say to this mountain, Go, throw yourself into the sea, and it will be done. When your faith is struggling to keep believing, turn the scripture for inspiration and encouragement. When the troubles of the world seem so close and real to you, you can focus on Jesus and the living spirit inside you. And praying to God for providing a spirit of faith is the best way. to overcome any trouble or tribulation so join me in prayer now and let's keep a strong faith in the lord pray now father god i come before your throne just as i am lord my strength is gone i am unable but your word says i can do all things through christ who strengthens me give me your strength lord not physical strength but the power to move mountains that flows from faith in Jesus help me to depend on you to do what i think i cannot do let your strength alone sustain me i thank you that you are my strength you are all powerful all knowing and all present you are the lion of juda Your word says that wherever I go you never leave me. I pray for your divine protection upon my life. I thank you for you are my protector. I thank you for laying down your life for me. Lord, let no sickness touch my body. Let no harm come against me. Let no evil that is planned against me touch my life. Let me face no more failures. Lord keep me safe and watch over me for you are my provider Remove every confusion every worry from my mind Grant me a sound mind that comes from your wisdom Lord fill me with your grace prosper all that I do and help me to lead a successful life in you Restore my hope and faith that you are moving that you are still in control and that I have no reason to worry because the victory is already mine through Jesus Christ in Jesus lovely name amen